Okay, so this is a 50 inch coil or helix water heater. Not sure what you actually call this shape. I'm thinking it's a helix. Um, it costs about $28 for the materials. That's not including the brazing and the propane tank and all that jazz. It is a 3 8 copper tubing, 3 8 of an inch outer diameter. That's the um, 10.2 millimeters. You're looking at about 41 and a half feet of tubing here. Had a little bit of an accident there, brazing this together, but finally got it. It's been spliced together here. Get a focus. It's not a very good job, but hopefully that will hold. I am going to pull this thing out of there after a while and inspect it, but I'm worried I may get a leak right there because this shroud did not go all the way around the pipe. You can kind of see the, the seam ridge right there. That may crack eventually. This will be a little bit of a learning curve here. So, just for the sake of having something to reference later on, for the sake of archive, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Now this is going to be going in this section of my exhaust. I was going to put it up top in here, but this thing gets as hot as 700 degrees. And I don't know that I want my copper coil in there. That may be just a little bit too hot for the outer skin. And I'm afraid that it may slowly over time oxidize the outer layer off the tube. This around here, I'm pretty sure that this was seeing temperatures on the order of 350 to 400 degrees. That's a little bit cooler. And I think that'd be a little bit better. So eventually I may put a coil up here in the top. Um, I may go ahead and wrap a coil around the exterior, but to put one on the inside, I don't think would be a wise idea because at times, pretty sure I have flames shooting about that far into this tube. And um, yeah, like I said, I've, I've registered temperatures well over 750 degrees or so on this particular section of the exhaust. So we're going to be putting it down in here and it will be connected to this preheat coil. This is a, I thought it was a 50 foot, but I looked at the receipt and it turns out it's only 25 foot. There's a 25 foot coil spiraled around inside of the burner here. Don't have a flashlight at the moment. I do got about a thousand watts there. You can kind of see the coil is not very close together. Just kind of wraps around all the way down to the bottom in there. So we got some ash from last run. But uh, that's going to be the preheat. And I'm going to hook that up to a pump and a mixer tank. And we're going to see what type of temperature increase we get. I'm going to have a thermal couple placed at the intake and a thermal couple placed at the outtake or discharge, I guess I should say. And I don't know what to expect. I'm expecting maybe a 50 degree increase in temperature with the pump that I'm going to be running. That's the prediction I'm going to make just off the top of my head with the things that I've observed in the past. Who knows, this thing may sh shoot steam out of the other end. But I'm going to predict a 50 degree increase. So the water's going in at 100 degrees, we're going to see 150 degrees out the discharge. Okay, just one last look at what we got here. This is the first test coil. I'm going to see what I get off of this particular coil. All mounted in the back there. 
and I am going to slide this forward and then sleeve it over this coil. I'm going to fill the coil with water before I do any welding because I'm worried I may accidentally pierce this tubing with the arc welding. <laughs> 